test series play a very vital role in preparation for any competitive exam whether it's gate ugc net uopc exam or esc exams you must have watched many videos on youtube like how to prepare for gate exam or how to prepare for any competitive exam some preparation tips some uh, you know preparation strategy and every youtuber says what test series are very important so why test series are so important this thing we are going to discuss in this video but before that just want to tell you one thing an academy presents you an exclusive interview with the most popular author for paper 1 i hope everybody know the one and only kvs madan sir he himself is a pioneer in the field of nta ugc net paper 1 many students and i would say almost every student follows that book written by kvs madan sir for preparation of nta ugc net paper 1 so here you have a wonderful chance great opportunity to interact with kvs madan sir directly because this is going to be a live interview on an academy their educators will ask some important question from madan sir and which is definitely going to be helpful for aspirants of nta ugc net and this is going to be held on 27th of november and timing is 6 pm and in the special class kvs madan sir will also answer various questions asked by students so definitely you are going to gain some knowledge definitely in your preparation you will get benefited by this class and it is free you don't need to pay anything to attend this class so if you are interested the all the details and the enrollment link i'll give you in the description box of this video you can go and check out so let us discuss why test series are so important and when to start test series see many students don't start test series why so they say that their preparation is still going on they are not done with their preparation after that they'll start taking test series so it is not the right time to start after completing your preparation like maybe in december or january you should start taking test series you should start taking that subject wise test or maybe mock test as soon as possible obviously you can't take full length mock test before your preparation but suppose if you have prepared six or seven subjects then also then at the right it is the right time to start full length mock test but subject wise Uh, test when you can start once you have completed your subject then start taking uh, start you can start uh, taking the subject wise uh, mock test for that subject right do not wait till your preparation is over because see preparation is never is never going to end and many students don't go for test series because of some fear like if they will not score very well in test series at that time what will happen they have this fear see take it as a good point if you start taking the test series definitely you will come to know your weak points if you have prepared very well right you think that i have prepared six or seven subjects or i have prepared suppose one subject very well right so better it's time to test your knowledge it's time to test your concepts whether yeah you have knowledge you have prepared very well but whether you are able to solve question from that subject see knowledge is different thing it doesn't mean you have knowledge you have prepared suppose 10 subjects very well right you have very good conceptual knowledge but one thing which is very important is what how you attempt your exam on the final day it doesn't mean one has prepared all the 10 subjects and definitely he is going to get a very good rank no maybe one student has prepared only 8 subjects and he is going to be all india ranker means topper so accuracy matters a lot and speed also matters a lot at that time and when your accuracy or speed comes with practice so definitely you should practice by giving some test series some mock test right only one test series is sufficient if you want to go for more test then two not more than two two test series are more than enough or maybe one is also sufficient right because you have to analyze test series also that thing we'll discuss in next video so first point is by taking test series by giving that mock test you will come to know where you are standing in the competition and take it as a healthy competition means don't feel demotivated if you don't score very well in test series it's fine it happens with everyone after taking 15 20 30 40 test your score will definitely increase so it's fine if 
in first test or second or third or till maybe 5 or 10 test you are scoring very well like maybe around 30 or maybe 25, 30, 35 like this. That is fine. You have to identify your area of improvement and definitely you have to work hard on your weaknesses. That thing also we'll discuss. So this is very first point. Second thing is if you take test series, if you take subject wise test or full length test, then you will come to know the variety of questions they ask. Means suppose uh, if you are good at very uh, in any subject or in any topic or in any concept, you are very good. You have practiced many questions as well. But maybe sometimes in gate they ask tricky questions or different type of questions and you are not able to solve that question in gate exam. So it is a negative point for you. Although you have prepared that subject or that topic or that concept, you are very good at that but still you are not able to solve question. So face these type of questions, different different type of question before actual exam. That is a good approach. So that while attempting the actual exam if this type of question comes then you can solve that question right next is definitely it is going to help you obviously in your revision and um, your brushing up the concepts because when you uh, take the test series if you are not able to attempt any question then definitely you will see why you are not able to attempt that question the topic and you will revise that topic again so it is a good approach to revise fourth point is what you will Come to know your strong points as well as your weak points means strong points means the subjects in which you are performing very well in which you are good you are able to solve question and quickly as well and those subjects in which you are not good or maybe some concepts or some topics from which you are not able to attempt question. So once you come to know that in these subjects or in these concepts in these topics you are weak you can work according to that you can uh, work hard on that topics. Next you will come to know your silly mistakes. Silly mistakes uh, like maybe when you are noting down, uh, noting down the information given in the question that is wrong or sometimes uh, you remember the formula but you use some different uh, sign like maybe plus minus or divide or into something like this different wrong sign in that formula or maybe sometimes while marking you have got the answer but while marking that answer you mark it wrongly or you do not you do not check the unit of the answer these are some silly mistakes. See these silly mistakes occurs in which uh, question easy question means you know how to solve that question you can solve that question easily but because of silly mistakes you lose marks and that is where you lack you are lacking behind because in gate even one mark can make a huge difference in your rank. So while taking test series you will come to know if you are doing some silly mistakes. So you can analyze your silly mistakes and you can work on those mistakes, right? Next is it will help you to find out the best attempting strategy for you. Like it doesn't mean that one YouTuber is saying follow this strategy while attempting that question paper. Your friend is saying this strategy you should follow you will get maximum marks. No strategy at last ultimately would be yours only. So you can practice all the strategies like first I will solve. Uh, two numbers, uh, two marks, technical question or first I'll solve general aptitude or maybe some students uh, start from sequentially like 1 to 65 question. So you can practice all the strategies while taking test series, full length test and you can find out which one is best for you. Next very important thing is it will teach you how to manage time because when you take a full length test then obviously that would be a proper gate type environment 65 question 180 minutes and see yeah one more important thing you should use virtual calculator and that scribble pad at the time when you are taking test series you should create that proper gate type of environment like you are sitting in your actual exam. So it will teach you time management you will come to know uh, while solving which type of questions you are taking too much time or which type of question you can solve quickly so according to that. You can practice suppose if uh, you have a poor time management you are not able to attempt question at least 55 questions or, or 60 questions then you have a poor time management you have to work on that on this things you have to practice you have to increase your speed right and you will come to know how to handle how to tackle that exam pressure because if you take test series full length mock test then you will be habitual of facing that exam whole environment. You will be habitual of using virtual calculator, scribble, uh, scribble pad for uh, rough work 
and you will be habitual of you know managing time like 65 question I have to attempt in 180 minutes. So when you enter in the examination examination hall on your final day then you will not feel nervous because sometimes it happens if you don't know the strategy to attempt the exam if you don't know how, don't know how to manage time at that time if you don't know how to use virtual calculator at that time yeah your preparation is very well right but still you are not able to get a good rank because of pressure and that nervousness. So that is why test series are very important and start taking test series as soon as possible. Don't wait till uh, you know your exam your preparation is over. So that's it for this video. Now in next video I am going to discuss how to analyze test series. So I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.